Congratulations, that's a, that's a really important and an impressive one, I think, wasn't it, for Lancashire tonight? Yeah, it was. I think the way the ball has dragged things back, um, you know, they bowled really well. Obviously, up front, they started well, but to be able to pull things back the way we did, I think the bowlers did an outstanding job. Yeah, that's a good test of character, isn't that? Because you say it was an explosive start by Durham, but to, to rein it back in which was really impressive. Absolutely. I think the danger for teams, when, they, when, they, when you get a start like that, is for batsmen coming in thinking that it's, you know, it's easy and you could, or they feel that they have to go at the same rate. Sometimes you just have to take your hat off to somebody when he's playing well and let him play that way because everybody can't walk to the crease and play that way and, and you know, they, they basically let us in. Were you pretty happy with that, tel that uh, target that, uh, that they set? You, you felt that was, was gettable? Absolutely. I think the way they started, I think we would have taken that any day. Um, you know, the way they batted, they probably could have get, uh, got 30 runs more. Um, 30 more would have been a tough score to get uh, on that pitch, obviously a used pitch for the, for the England international match, so um, to pull it back to 140 just over, um, outstanding job of the spinners. It seemed like an ideal situation actually for, for Lancashire, it's a you know, big boundary, it's a run chase under floodlights, it's like almost being at Old Trafford isn't it? <laughs> yeah, you know, with it being a big field um, and obviously we play a lot of matches on a big field just like this, um, you know, you, you know how to go about it because of, of previous experiences. Um, it's important to be able to knock the ball into, into, into the gaps in the deep um, and get twos. Um, and it's probably not that easy to hit, to hit boundaries, especially in the middle overs. So, um, you know, with us playing a lot of cricket on a similar type of ground, uh, we've got a bit of experience as far as that's concerned. Yeah. You anchored the innings, the pace of your innings, you felt that, that best suited that, uh, that, that run chase. Yeah, look, I think um, you have to Obviously, manage the situation when you're out there. Um, you, you feel like, at times, you feel like you want to um, go a bit harder, and then at the other end, you might lose a wicket, and then you have to pull it back again because you can't afford to, to lose another wicket. So it's always a calculation. Um, you know, the last thing that you want uh, is two new batsmen at the crease at the same time. So, you know, whenever you're out there, it's always a calculation, and, you know, you hope that as the innings progresses that, that you time it right. <laughs> and Asher Jazz was a little bit critical last Friday evening uh, after that defeat at, at Northamptonshire. This is a really good comeback, isn't it? Right? Yeah, it's a good comeback. You know, nobody is um, is running away with the group um, at the moment. So to be able to to win this one, we get another chance tomorrow night to, to go again. If we can get two or three, three or four wins in a row, that that could really boost our, our chances of qualifying.